Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy But now this year is twice so special Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love In this winter wonderland Chilling by the fire As I'm trying to get your attention Giving you a smile I can sing to look away day seven friends it is tuesday it is day seven of vlogmas i can't believe it's day seven already <laughs> it's another busy day i think it starts at 7 30 it's about 5 30 right now i've been up since 4 30 i've already done some uh emails that i needed to get done answer a couple that i needed to get done just all of the things but I thought I'd show you really quick the hardware. Steven loves it, I love it. It was the perfect, it was, it was perfect. I'm really, really happy with it. So I'm gonna turn you around. It's the same exact hardware. I sourced it from the same place, which was nice because when I switched out to the black, like I was able to use the same screws. It was just easy peasy. But the black on the white and then the gold on the dark wood, I'm so, happy with it it just pops so much more it's the exact look that i was going for like i said it's a super busy tuesday but i'm grateful for that i'm grateful to have work that i love and that is valuable and important i think in the times in which we live i'm just so grateful and to start my tuesday I was like, I'm gonna treat myself to something. So we're gonna make some hot chocolate. Unapologetically, at five in the morning. So I have had this machine forever, at least three Vlogmases ago, but it is the Breville hot chocolate cappuccino milk frothing machine. I'm gonna put some milk in there. And then what I like to do while I go and grab my chocolate, I like to go ahead and get this started so the milk is already getting warm so the chocolate doesn't clump up. I find when the milk is still really, really cold, sometimes the chocolate gets caught up in the frothing thing. It's now spinning my milk and getting hot. I'm gonna go grab my hot chocolate stuff. I am just going to be using the Williams Sonoma Classic Hot Chocolate. If you see it, it's like actual chocolate. It's so good. And I'm just gonna add a couple spoonfuls. I don't like mine too chocolatey. And we are going to do some whipped cream. And then I bought these pretty early, as soon as they released the fancy sprinkles, and I've been using them for cookies. And yeah, they're really like high quality, way too expensive, but they are very festive and cute. I saw them on an Instagram ad and I fell for them, but they are really, really good and they are really pretty. All right, our hot chocolate is almost done. Oh, all right, I'm gonna enjoy this and ease into my Tuesday. All right, friends, we are about to really get the day started. It's almost 8 a.m. And I have my first call at 8 a.m. My Zoom outfit of the day, since you only have to dress from the waist up, is this H&M oversized sweater, which is so comfy and like just soft. And I'm rocking a pair of like aviator style glasses that match the sweater like perfectly. They also are giving me a little Jenna Lyons vibe who has become my new favorite human. We are best friends in my head. I aspire to be her more as a leader. I just love her. She has an HBO show 
HBO Max show called Stylish. She was the uh, chief creative director for J. Crew a few years ago. I love her. I need her to write a book immediately. I also need her to be my friend because I adore her. So today's act of kindness, if you're following me over on Instagram, which is probably where I'll do most of the giveaways during Vlogmas this year, today's act of kindness is to send books that are your favorites to people. So over on Instagram, there's a post. All you have to do is comment and follow me over there. And I'm picking 10 people to send some of my favorite books to. Once I pick the person, I'm going to write them a note on the inside cover. I thought that'd be like a nice little special touch. But I have seven of them here. The ones I'm waiting for to still arrive will be no surprise. Underground Railroad, because I've given so many copies and I need to have my copy here for myself. Anne of Green Gables and The Color Purple, three of my all-time favorite books. Some of these books are ones that I've read recently that I just fell in love with and others I've read many years ago and still love. So the ones that I'm giving out that have been delivered are the following. The first is Becoming by Michelle Obama. This book is amazing. Her writing style is beautiful. I'd also highly recommend listening to it on audiobook. This is one that I've read a few years ago and I absolutely love it. It is called The Travelers. You, Whoever gets this, you and I need to talk. The next one has become a favorite and such an inspiration. I've actually now given away four copies of it. And this is going to be the fifth one that I give away. And that's Untamed by Glennon Doyle. I absolutely love this book. It's so inspiring. It has changed so many ways that I view some things in my own life. One of my favorite leader books, this is probably the seventh copy of this I've given away. And that's Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. One of my faves. You guys heard me talk about this book so much. Um, it would have been over the summer, I believe, and it has quickly became a favorite. I'm gifting it to a couple people for Christmas, but it's 50 Words for Rain. It's so good. It's so good. I loved it. It's one of my favorite books of 2020. The next one will be no surprise for all of you who know me. My Own Words by Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Gifted this a couple times. I actually have two copies of this because I love her so much. Um, I actually got to see her in person speak. Uh, Stephen and I both did, and it was amazing. And then the last book is kind of a surprise one. It's a little bit different. I hope the person who gets it really enjoys it, but it's one of my favorites, and it's called The Mothers, and it's just a beautiful, beautifully written story. So those are the books that I'm going to be giving away, and I'll be probably getting some of these in the mail tomorrow morning because I'm closing out the the giveaway at 8.30 p.m. Eastern over on Instagram. So if you're watching this now, hopefully I have it uploaded in time for you to still hop over there. Make sure you're following me and make sure you've left a comment. All right. I have a few more minutes before this call. So I have this one at 8. This one will go pretty long, probably till 9.15. I'll make a quick cup of coffee. At 9.30 I have another one where we're working on some tasks. It's probably going to take us a while to get through everything. And then after 9.30, I'm assuming that one will take almost up till lunch, do a quick little lunch break. And then I have one more call that I have to be on, not a Zoom call, but just a call. And then I have some work time. I go on vacation for Christmas on the 18th and I'm off for until January 4th. So I want to make sure that during this work time today, I can get a runway of things done for next week, but also start getting some things done for the week that we come back. So the work time is going to be swamped and I'm really going to try to just like plow through things. All right, we're going to get this day started. I will see you all in a little bit and happy Vlogmas Day 7. All right, friends, it is 3.30. The day is winding down. Um, and I have my third pair of glasses on for today. I love glasses, and I love these in particular. Um, I got to show you something, though. I just changed out of my sweatshirt. This is, this is the state of my hair. It also looks a little gray right now. All right, we need to kind of do something with it. I feel like a newscaster with my hair today. Let's go and check on the boys. Oh, wait, what's happening? What? What's happening? There was an Amazon delivery. Oh so my. I shuffled him into the garage. Was it for me? Um, I would say so. I don't know. We haven't checked. Bubby, what's going on? Did the mailman come? So when the Amazon guy was pulling up, I put Lady Gaga on full blast in the office. And that still didn't do And that. had a dance party? Well, yeah, he was dancing. All the people who are up in fills around my snowflake window. Perhaps.
something will happen today. The other thing that came today, I have a roast, a turkey breast roast in the oven for dinner today. But I ordered these from Neiman Marcus. They are drinking chocolate snowmans. They're by Katie Weiser. You put him in the pot of hot milk and you melt him. But like the quality of this is like pretty stellar. But his name is Carl. And I bought two Carls for maybe this weekend. We'll have one of the Carls. Neiman Marcus's shipping was really fast with this, and I heard it is like the best hot chocolate you will ever, ever have. Better than Williams Sonoma. So we're gonna give Carl a try. Go ahead and open our calendars. Pour some sugar on me. Day eight. They are the baby whales. This also seems like the perfect time for a cookie from my bestie Rebecca. Day eight. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's a beautiful, beautiful snowflake. I might have that with a cup of coffee. All right, day eight. It's another little deer to match her scene. Hi, this deer is not for you. I'm excited about this. It is a honey orange lip balm. And then day eight of the White Company. Oh, perfect timing. That is another lip balm. I work out the most moisturized lips on the planet. Advent calendars are done. I have one more email that I really have to get done. So while I work, I'm gonna have a nice cup of coffee. I usually only have cream in my coffee in the morning, and then the rest of the day, I drink just plain black. Steven only drinks black coffee, so. Drinking out of my new favorite mug. It's a dollar at Walmart in the dish section. Go get one, you'll love it. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this and get this work done. We're gonna battle through because it's going on four o'clock. So it's that weird time for us where the sun comes through these front windows of the house. All can rest assured, we are doing the snowflake window. Yay! All right, I'm gonna talk you through how I do it every year, although this is just a new window that I'm doing it on. So what I prefer to work with, I always buy the Singer brand, just because that's the brand I always buy, Nylon String, and this is the 123 mil. Um, I really love it. I'll leave this exact spool linked below, as well as the snowflakes I love using. And yeah, we're gonna jump in. I have them differentiated by size, so I have my large, medium, and then small ones. You wanna get your largest ones placed first. You're going to have such a hard time seeing this. The way I do it is I, oh, you can see it a little bit. I loop it through, that way my snowflake will hang flush and I have them all at different lengths. I'll be adjusting the lengths as we go. And I also started with just seven because I wanna see how seven fill up the window. But what I'm going to do now is these all come with this like white thread. I'm gonna cut that thread off and I'm gonna fish them through these holes and then adjust the lengths and we'll get the big ones on first and I'll show you what I mean by adjusting the length. I have the first three hung all at different lengths. I'm now going to go in with my medium ones and kind of layer them on top. But you can see like just even this looks amazing. But once you get them all layered and staggered and then we're gonna add the final piece. So I'm gonna go in with my mediums, follow the same kind of pattern of like varying the length. This actually is making me like this time of day so now that I have like my large and medium ones filled in I might put because I have some mediums left I might get one more medium put on this side just to balance it out a bit and then I'm going to just go in and fill and layer all of these smaller ones which does mean that I have to cut some more nylon cord and loop it around Steven just said it looks really nice and I always operate from the perspective of you can never have too many lights, but I actually might have too many lights. This strand might be too long. Uh, so, ooh, 
It's always worked for the kitchen window, but I just feel like with the kitchen window, I dealt with a wider, more open space. I don't know if these lights will work, but let's go ahead and look at this before the sun goes down. It makes this really tricky. You're gonna see that I have all of the snowflakes like interwoven. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you how I connect my battery pack to my uh, curtain rod. So zip ties are your best friend. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a zip tie to kind of like make the harness for this little guy. So I'm just gonna put the zip tie around him. He is not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna use this now to attach to the bracket and it's just gonna hang under there and you're not gonna see it because the curtain is going to actually cover it up. You can see where the zip ties up, but you cannot see my battery pack. Now, what I wanna do with the lights is I just am going to keep looping them around. So I'm actually gonna wind them around my hand so they're easier to work with. And I'm just gonna loop and intertwine them into the snowflakes. And I'm actually going to use it, if any of my snowflakes are crooked, to help hold them in place. All right, friends, real talk. I took the lights off because one thing I can't stand is messy. And I don't know, those are the same lights I've used every year, the same length. I just think this space doesn't allow you to like work with the lights as easily and they look messy on the curtain rod. But I honestly think these are a beautiful statement without having lights in them. Like seeing the sun come through them, they look stunning. And I mean, it's like a $10 project with a bunch of paper snowflakes. So I'm actually still really happy with it and content with leaving it the way it is, but I'm not adding lights because it just feels too cluttery and messy and I don't like it. But we got a snowflake window for Vlogmas 2020 and that's how I do them. Like I said, what I normally do is I put them in this space of this window. And what's great is this actually has like a lip underneath it. So I feel like I'm able to like string the lights, tape them, and make them work a lot easier, but I don't have the luxury um, in the dining room to do that because I don't have anything to conceal them with. But like I said, they still look really striking in the window and I'm really happy with them. But no one can say I left you hanging in Vlogmas 2020 without a snowflake window. We did it, it's just a little different. Vlogmas is definitely dying down, but right now I am just going through some Christmas cards that you all sent me. And this is actually awesome. First of all, you should know that in a box down in the basement, I've kept every Christmas card that you have all sent me. And this year I have a really good idea for a Christmas card display. And once I get enough cards, I'm definitely going to be doing it. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. <gasps> Kim, this is the most beautiful card ever. I also love that they're, <laughs> you include Bubba's in on them. Pamela, thank you. I'm gonna hang this actually near my desk on the little board above it so I can look at it every day. I have to show you all this ornament. It's an angel, but the angel's holding a heart and it says kindness. This is so special. Also, there was some judgment on this wine glass. People said it was basically a bowl with a stem. It's actually not this big. It is just based off of the perspective you see it on camera, but it's like a normal sized red wine. It is not, no it's not. It, yes, is, a, it, is. it is a bowl with a stem. It is not a bowl with a stem. It it's too hard to clean in the dishwasher. No, it is not a bowl with a stem. That means you could like eat soup out. Here it is compared to my head. Oh, I guess it is pretty. <laughs> You have a big head. I guess it is pretty, no actually, I think it is pretty large. Um, don't judge, it's a good glass. It's a pandemic glass. All right, do you wanna share your gifts? Yes. This is from Angela, my former supervisor and uh, colleague in Charlotte. Uh, she was my uh, supervisor when I was a lawyer there. Um, and when we went uh, to investigate something, uh, there was a house that had a lot of gnomes, uh, like hundreds of like garden gnomes outside. So 
So that became our little joke. I gave her a gnome. She gives me a gnome. She gave me a gnome candle. So she gave us some gnome uh, ornaments and gnome napkins. She gave these gnomes for us, which is like an inside joke that we have. Gnome sweet gnome. Gnome sweet gnome. So where are you gonna put those gnomes? Um, well, I don't know. I'm prohibited from putting them on any trees. So what I probably will do is put them in my office. Wait, no, wait. These aren't ornaments. They're little. They're little setup. I actually think those are really cute. You can put them like. I actually think they're really cute. They're not ornaments. They're like really cute, like decor. I really do like them. We can find a spot for them. If you guys want to play a game tomorrow, and it's, uh, I need to think of a funny name for it. Gnome. Gnomus. <laughs> no, no, like. Something like a play on the words of like finding the gnome. Gnome on the show. Hey, there's nothing up there. Gnomes in the homes. Gnomes in the homes. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow, if you want to play gnomes in the homes, we're gonna hide the gnomes throughout Vlogmas and you need to find where they are. There are three gnomes, a blue hat, a green hat, and a buffalo plaid hat. If you want to play gnomes in the homes tomorrow, we will hide them tonight and you can look for them. And you can comment down below in tomorrow Vlogmas Day 9 where you saw the gnomes. Let me know. We need to gnome if you want to play gnomes in the homes. Bubba's is already in on it. Are you? Steven is going to do Bubba's advent calendar today. Oh, woofers. Actually, I don't think we did last night. Or the night before, but I gave him one before dinner. And no, we did day six. We did not. We only missed day no, seven. I gave him day six like 20 minutes ago. So, um, or half an hour ago. So, but we still need to oh, open day seven and day eight. All right, day eight. But you don't do it the right way. You have to put it on the floor. Oh. Day eight. Oh. oh, did you get it? Oh, day eight. Sometimes you have to prop it up or he'll just lick it and it gets slimy in there. <laughs> kind of like just what just happened. What the, it was, what the, no, that's, that's, oh! That's, that's, ow! ow. Uh-oh, that did not go well. Ow! That's a first in the advent calendar. Uh, once again, a calendar mishap and shenanigans and he ripped the door! Well, I'm done with the <laughs> Bubba's. There's another one, it's the same one. My heart has, well, is sick. Get over it because you can close the door and nobody will see it. Can you tape that? What? <laughs> can you tape it? <laughs> now he's making a mess on the floor. Oh, he will clean that up. All right, what's your gratitude? I am grateful I have five fingers left after the advent calendar. <laughs> Thanks, Bubba's. <laughs> I said, I am grateful for my fish bowl of wine and a delicious dinner that you prepared. You're welcome. Although I roasted the turkey. I took it out of the oven. The oven roasted the turkey. Alrighty, friends. So that concludes Vlogmas Day 8. I will end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, which will be tomorrow. Bye bye